Hey everyone, Luke Lee here, television and film actor and practicing lawyer in Singapore. Now, I know you guys really enjoyed the previous Meme Reacts episodes, which is good because memes literally give me life. There's no other reason why I'm surviving right now. I live on memes. So, let's go ahead and check out Meme Reacts 3. Files declaration in divorce proceedings that he has no assets, post pictures of his vacation with his new girlfriend in the Bahamas. Why do I feel like it's some kind of fire festival thing? Okay, so declarations in divorce proceedings that he has no assets. This is something which is definitely wrong. When you are um, a deponent to an affidavit, like I said, when you swear or affirm that this is true to the best of your belief and knowledge, it should not come to light that you have assets because then you would be perjuring yourself. Me watching all the other attorneys ask for priority in front of me. <laughs> Okay, so this happens a lot. So when you're going to court for mention or hearing, you have to submit your defense counsel slip, for example, for a criminal mention. And that puts you in the queue. But there are many other cases that day. So therefore, if you ask the court officer, can I have priority, your case will be put first. And then you can finish your case and move on to your other cases the rest of the day. So this is something that attorneys do. That's realistic. And then I told the candidate our firm has a great work-life balance. <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna say it at the outset, there is no such thing as work-life balance in private practice. Work-life balance, if anyone promises that to you, it is a myth. First day as a lawyer, may I remind you that you're under oath? Okay, so you can't lie. Yep, do you think I'm cute? <laughs> so this is very unprofessional guys, do not do this as a lawyer. And when you have a witness under oath, you must treat them and court them with respect. You can't say this kind of thing. If the witness is being hostile, you have to ask permission from the court to treat the witness as hostile. But you don't ask these kind of questions. It's very strange. But having said that, it is pretty funny. Okay, but very unprofessional. When you cite only one case in your entire motion, see it. So it is basically the Latin term for item and item means the same. So this is something you see a lot in US legal documents. So item is used when you are referring to a case which was previously mentioned before. Say for example, in a document, I'm saying the case and I say the full citation name. And then later on, if I'm referring to that case again, I say see it, which means see item, see what I've quoted before. Sitting through a lecture on civil procedure like one hour here is one hour on earth. That was my bad Matthew McConaughey impression. So this is a scene from one of my favorite films, Interstellar, by Christopher Nolan. And this is the scene where they go down to the planet, which is mostly water-based, and it's time differential between what is on the planet and what's on the spaceship. So yeah, civil procedure is exactly like this. It's, I'm not gonna lie, tremendously boring. I sat through civil procedure lectures, and I enjoy studying, I enjoy lectures, but in, I could not wait for those lectures to end. And if I'm saying it's boring, guys, guys, trust me, it is boring. So yeah. How it feels to be in a relationship with another lawyer. Okay, so you have Batman and the Joker on one side. This is my favorite interrogation scene from The Dark Knight. I think what this meme is trying to say, which is pretty clever meme, is that both of them are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> or both of them are two sides of the same coin. Batman being crazy for dressing in a bat suit and Joker being in a clown suit and causing chaos. Well, I don't know personally because I've never dated another lawyer, but for my friends who have dated lawyers before, I would assume and from what they've told me, it is encouraging when you actually know that someone is going through the same thing as you and is able to understand the rigors and, and the stresses of that profession. So definitely a plus point, I would say. Day in the life of a family law attorney. Uh, all right, so this is very true. And a lot of the times you find as a family law lawyer, you are actually a counselor. You have to actually listen to clients because when the clients come to you during a divorce or before a divorce, they are very, very emotional and they're very distraught. Everything for them is happening all at once. And that's why you have to be patient as an attorney. Be reasonable. Also me, send the contract back to him in a locked PDF. <laughs> Tell him you want an amicable resolution and then serve his client. File meaningless motions. Okay, so I've never done this because I find this super, super annoying. Uh, opposing counsel have done this to me before. Why would you, in an email, send me a locked PDF to give to my client? Because it just makes no sense. Why don't you just send me a normal document? and uh, tell him you want an amicable resolution and then serve his client. I get so frustrated when 
someone asks me for an amicable resolution and then serves my client with something or sends a letter which is very litigious because that's completely contrary to what uh, asking for an amicable resolution for the matter is. That means you want to solve things and negotiate things and work things out. But when you send something which is litigious or something which actually makes people more riled up, that means that you're actually proceeding on a contested basis. Me trying to quit the law, partner track, my ego, bonuses, six-figure salary, excuse to buy nice clothes, bragging rights. <laughs> okay, definitely the income, the salary, all these are things that are attractive to someone who would go into the legal profession. What I do have to say though is, if you're actually going into this profession just for the money, then you will not go very far just because the hours and the amount of stress there is, is just all consuming. So these are a lot of the things that my friends who are young lawyers tell me are the reasons why it's so hard to actually leave practice. Even though for them, a lot of them find that it's very stressful in their job and it's very, very time consuming and hard. These are the things that stick up, the prestige, the partner track. I think that it's very important to make sure that you are happy. If you're not feeling fulfilled in your job, you can always change your job. You can always start in something which would utilize your skills. Notwithstanding the aforementioned, but, Okay, so this is very true. We do use a lot of legalese and official language when we are actually writing or drafting legal documents. This is important because you want it to sound official and you don't want it to sound very, very informal. So I don't think we use but a lot. However, notwithstanding the aforementioned doesn't mean but. Aforementioned means meant the thing mentioned before. So what you have to do is refer to the earlier paragraphs to what this thing is actually mentioning. And the basis for your motion to continue, counselor, me. A motion to continue is basically an application for continuance or as we like to call it in Singapore, adjournment. You're asking for more time or postponement of the hearing. So because of COVID-19, you do see a lot of counsel, especially opposing counsel, coming in and asking for an adjournment or a motion to continue so that hearings will be heard later on, right? And I always object to this just because of COVID-19. It doesn't have to be a case that things have to be delayed because when something is delayed for too long, you wouldn't want your client to actually keep on paying for legal costs for future attendances when something can be settled in that first instance. Meeting up with old law school friends like, Gangstas, what's up guys? Okay. <clears throat> this is a scene from Superbad. Uh, this is McLovin, Christopher Mintz Platts. Please let me know if I'm pronouncing that right. And yeah, honestly, meeting up with old law school friends is pretty strange sometimes because a lot of them are not practicing anymore uh, and a lot of them who are practicing are practicing in very different areas from me but at the same time uh, it's always nice to see that they are doing something that makes them happy as well as something which they can actually utilize their skills over because not everyone who uh, passes uh, and graduates from law school has the practice there's no requirement for that exactly are there any documents evidencing where you were on the night of the incident deponent no Let's go ahead and mark your entire Facebook timeline as Exhibit A, deponent. <laughs> okay, so what is a deponent? A deponent is someone who swears or affirms in an affidavit or any legal document that something is true and correct to the best of their information and belief. If you say that there were no documents evidencing where you were on that night and then we go to your Facebook timeline and it says the completely different thing and it shows that you were there on that night you are in big trouble because you have committed perjury. Don't commit perjury, please disclose evidence that you have with you. Even if it is disadvantageous for your case, you have to disclose it, otherwise you'll be committing perjury. And you'll be giving a false statement to court and later on it's gonna bite you in the ass. People hire private investigators, people investigate your shit. So, all right, so I've reacted to so many memes today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And do let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see on my channel in the future. Take care and stay safe.